Hey guys, welcome back. So today I thought I would film a products I don't like video. If you hear some noises, Pepper is over there. I'm the worst at returning things. I just forget to do it or just don't want to. I'm trying to get better about it, but some of them I just use too much to return. You know what I'm saying? Like I kept trying to make it work, but it just didn't. And others I probably could have returned, but just didn't. So whatever, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into this. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Setting Set and Refresh Powder. And I was really drawn to this because I was hoping that this would be a good like hydrating, illuminating type of powder. And while it is hydrating, it doesn't do a very good job of setting your makeup like in a good way like the powder is like a wet or like a damp powder it's very interesting it does feel cooling whenever you put it on but it's just so strange because it is damp but at the same time it makes your makeup look super powdery and sometimes it can kind of mess up your foundation because it is like wet or damp I don't know it's just the strangest thing and it has like the little sifter there. So yeah, this just didn't really work out for me. I wanted it to because I like illuminating setting powders because you guys know I'm more like normal to dry skin. But yeah, this was a fail for me. So if you've been on the fence about this, I'd say probably pass on this because I don't really even know who that would work for. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Water Spray. I did like the primer water I just did not enjoy the sprayer on this so I just put this like the primer stuff in one of my Urban Decay all-nighter makeup setting spray empty bottles so that's how I've been using it and I enjoy the spray the setting spray I just don't like this bottle the pump is terrible this is the CoverGirl the Super Sizer Big Curl and I really enjoy the regular Super Sizer Mascara. It's a really good mascara for length and volume, but it's mostly like a good mascara for length. It has a, I don't think I have it to show it to you guys, but it has a really skinny little brush, kind of like the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And it just does a good job of like really coating your lashes well. So I thought I would enjoy this mascara. And I thought, oh, okay, it's gonna be like the regular brush, but just a little curved. But it is not. The brush on this thing is huge. It's more like the CoverGirl Lash Blast, but curved, like the way that the brush is. And this did absolutely nothing for me. Like it didn't give me volume or length. So I was not a fan of this. The Maybelline Total Temptation. I know some people love this, but I do not. It was another one of those mascaras that didn't do anything for me. Like it didn't give me volume, it didn't give me length. And I was just not impressed by it. I mean, I do like the brush on it, but it just, it wasn't enough for me. The Revlon Vomazing. I didn't like this either for that same reason. It just didn't do much for me. I thought it was gonna be like the Too Faced Better Than Sex or maybe even the L'Oreal Lash Paradise because of the way that the brush was shaped. But it didn't do anything for my lashes. I didn't enjoy it. This is the BH Cosmetics BH Liquid Foundation Naturally Flawless. It's one of those foundations when you first put it on, it looks really nice, but it does not wear well. Like after three or four hours, it starts breaking down and wearing off. So I don't recommend this. I don't like it. The same thing goes for the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I s tried to use this again because when this first came out, I used it and I did a like a video review and told you guys I didn't like it then. So I kept it in my makeup collection and I thought, well, maybe I should try it again. So. I used it and I felt the exact same way as I did in that review video. It's one of those foundations like the BH Cosmetics one where it looks awesome when you first apply it, but it does not wear well throughout the day. Even when you set it with the makeup setting spray, it just doesn't. And it's so unfortunate because you guys know how much I love Wet n Wild products. So I really, really wanted to like this, but it just doesn't work for me. This is the Revlon Colorstay Prep and Protect Primer Base. And I got this whenever I got the Revlon 
full coverage, like the Revlon Color Stay full coverage foundation, the one that's like in the tube. This was next to that foundation. And I did not like this because it had a white cast to it, like a, you know, a sunscreen that has a white cast. And it just felt really dry on my face. Like it just dried my skin out. So I did not enjoy this at all. This Milani Prep Set and Glow. This is not a horrible setting powder. Um, it's, but for me, it was just like the shade of it just wasn't right. This is one of those uh, illuminating type of powders that gives your skin like a little bit of a glow. And for me, I just didn't enjoy this. I think it was just like a little too light and too pink for me. Whenever I want like a illuminating setting powder, I like to use my Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. It gives you the same effect as this Milani powder. As you can see with this powder, it's more yellow and this one is more like pink. So I just found that this shade worked for me better. This Maybelline Tattoo Studio, like, it's supposed to do like micro brows. This thing was such a disappointment. It just didn't have enough pigmentation whenever you would go to put it on your brows. And it was almost like, you know with ink pens, if you were holding a piece of paper up and was writing like this, you know how some pens don't write if you're not holding it down like this? That's how this is. Whenever you hold it up, it's like all the ink just goes down and it just, the brush just doesn't have any ink in it. Cause it like, it swatches pretty decent, but it just doesn't do anything for your eyebrows. So I was very, very disappointed in this. I picked up a different brand of this type of brow pen that has like these three little prongs to do like the microblading from the Salon Perfect. And this is so much better than this thing. So if you're trying to find, you know, a pen that's like that, get this one because this one is so good and I got this at Walmart. Um, so yeah, didn't enjoy that. The Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This stuff was so powdery on me. This would probably be good with some for somebody that has very oily skin. But yeah, if you are normal to dry, do not recommend because it's going to give you a very powdery look. I told you guys this recently in my haul video, but the Smiths, is that how you pronounce that? Rose and Vanilla Natural Deodorant. I do not like this because it leaves really bad like pit stains on your clothes. The Boots Number no. 7 Bronzer, this is in Caramel. This shade did not work out for me. It was very orangey and I did not like it on me, which it's weird because it seems like it would be a good bronzer shade for me, but it just did not work. And I think this was the medium one, so maybe I need to go back and get the light one. This product here was one of those lash enhancing serums, the Cella. And I got this through Octoly, and I used this until I used it up, and I saw absolutely no difference with my lashes. And I know that this formula was supposed to be, is it prostaglandin? I don't know if that's the right pronunciation for that, but it's the type of ingredients that makes your lashes grow in eyelash enhancing serums. This did not have that in there. So all this did was just kind of condition your lashes. It did not make them grow. So I don't recommend this, especially if you're wanting something that's going to grow your lashes because it did not grow mine at all. I didn't notice any difference with my lashes. Now, if you are looking for one to grow your lashes, the Grande Lash MD, that stuff works. I've been using it for a little over two weeks now, for a little over two weeks now, and it is making a huge difference in my lashes. And that stuff does have, you know, the ingredients that make your lashes grow, so it does work. The last two things are these BH Studio Pro um, Waterproof Brow Pomades. I did really enjoy these when I first got them, but they literally dried out like a week after I got them. So that was unfortunate with these because they were very affordable, but they just got too dried out and it's like you can't even use them anymore. Anyhow, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video on makeup products I do not like. Um, there were some other makeup products that I did not like that I did take back. The CoverGirl, like their peach scented things and chocolate scented things, I bought a bunch of those things and I did not like those at all. The pigmentation was not good and I could not stand the smell of them. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else recently that I bought that I did not like and took back. 
I can't think of anything else. Those are the only things that I can think of, but yeah. Like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what are some makeup products that didn't work out for you that you bought recently so I know maybe not to get those. Leave your reasons down below why it didn't work out. I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.